Amy? Where the hell are you? Terry is looking all over for you. Have you forgotten that it's the day you leave on your honeymoon? What's going on? Where are you? I got a call from him after you disappeared after the wedding ceremony. Nobody could get in touch with you. Everyone's been worried. What happened? Are you in trouble or something? Hey, Emma, what's up? I was just going to contact you. Uh, Amy? Are you okay? You know what? Really weird saying this, but yesterday after the wedding, you won't believe who I ran into. This is fate. It has to be. Ran into someone? Fate? What are you talking about? Yeah, found a guy way better than my husband. I never thought I would see him again, but what do you know? He appeared before my very eyes right after the wedding. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, I'll give it to you straight. Your husband was someone I always had a crush on, so I went ahead and did it with him. <laughs> Wait a sec. My husband? What are you talking about? I did tell you that I divorced him three years ago because he cheated on me, right? Don't you remember? Huh? So I'm single now, living alone, no husband. Who is this guy you're talking about? Come on, Emma, you know who I'm talking about. That person I always had a super crush on, you know, Brad. You do remember Brad, right? Uh, this is the first I'm hearing about this, crush of yours. When I heard you guys got married, I was in shock for days. I thought it was the end of the world. If you guys had a wedding and I was invited, man, I don't even want to think about it. I would have made a scene. You're talking about Brad. That Brad? My ex-husband? Like, I said we split up three years ago. Oh, yeah? Well, then that means Brad is single. I have no idea what he's doing. I haven't seen or talked to him in years. Yes, things are really looking up for me now. I better hurry up and divorce my husband, Terry. And do it quick. Let's get one thing straight, Amy. About what Brad is up to now, I have no idea what he's doing. Like I said, I haven't heard from him in years since we divorced. Yeah, well, if you were still married, I would ask that you guys get divorced. But one thing is for sure, we definitely did it last night, which forever unites us. <laughs> Hold it a second, Amy. What are you saying? You just got married yesterday and you've already slept with another guy? And you're supposed to be on your way to your honeymoon today. Do you even realize what you're doing, Amy? This is screwed up. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I know that I'm probably the happiest girl in the world right now. Ugh, you really don't get it, do you? Come on, Emma. Don't go spoiling everything. Why wreck a good thing? I'm telling you, Amy, this is totally screwed up. What the hell are you going to do about Terry, your new husband? What are you planning on telling him? Emma, you're not listening to me. Oh, I get it. You still got a thing for Brad. Is that it? No way you're getting him back. He's mine and that's final. Excuse me? But you've been real persistent about this. Trying to talk me out of it. That's it, right? You want it back. Are you crazy, Amy? Anybody in their right mind would stop this nonsense. I'll say it again. You just got married yesterday. You leave on your honeymoon today. Yeah, just as I thought. Here, jealousy. I didn't think you were the jealous type, Emma. What are you talking about? Now I kind of understand how Brad felt about you. You're actually still in love with him, right? I'm right, aren't I? You were looking for the right opportunity to get back together with him. That's the truth, isn't it? Come on, a minute, Emma. It's so obvious. I beg your pardon? I don't have the slightest interest in him. I mean, zero. Why would you even think that? Yeah, yeah, you can deny it all you want, but I'm telling this to you for your own good. Brad is mine. And don't you forget it. I can't seem to get through to you, Amy. There's no use talking to you. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to explain all this to Terry. You're okay with that? You do what you're saying, there's no avoiding a divorce, and today's honeymoon, that's going to be canceled. This is all you're doing, Amy. There is no turning back. You do realize that, don't you? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Besides, it won't be any fun going on a honeymoon with someone you don't even love, right? What I want to do right now is just stay at this hotel with Brad for a few more nights 
And how can I put this? You know, affairs of the heart kind of thing. Sorry about this, Emma. I knew you wanted to get back together with Brad. I know. Green with envy, right? But this is fate. It just can't be helped. Like I keep telling you, I have no interest whatsoever with Brad. I divorced the guy three years ago. Haven't you heard a word I said? Please. No hard feelings, okay? Oh, dear God. You're really not listening. I give up! Hello, Emma. Thanks for the info about, you know. Yeah, no problem, Terry. How are you holding up? Apparently, Amy is having an affair with my ex-husband. We divorced more than three years ago. I have nothing to do with him, but all the same, I really feel bad about it. Oh, oh no. Please, I understand completely. Evidently, Brad was invited to the wedding on my side of the family, but it seems nobody knew you guys used to be married. We're to blame for this, too. We should have checked everyone's background a bit more. Sorry for that. Oh, please, don't apologize. I'm fine. I'm more concerned about you. What do you plan to do moving forward? Yes, that's what I was contacting you about. Regarding the divorce. That's final, but what I'm more concerned about is Brad. It's kind of complicated. What's the problem? Well, evidently, Brad has been married for about a year now. Oh, yeah? So he remarried, huh? Yes, and her maiden name is Conway. Joan Conway. Excuse me, that Joan Conway? You're kidding, right? <laughs> I thought you'd be surprised. Yeah, I get where you're at. This is complicated. Sure not going to end well, that's for certain. Hey, Emma, are you there? If you are, please pick up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just found out that Brad is already married. His wife? You won't believe who it is. This is not good. Emma, please help me. Did you know who his wife was? It's Joan Conley! Uh, Amy. I don't know what to say. Please, Emma, why didn't you tell me he was married to Joan Conway? If I had known it was Joan Conway, I would never have even thought twice about sleeping with him. Even if I had this crush on him. How was I supposed to warn you? I just found out last week myself. Seriously? Anyways, what the hell am I supposed to do now? This isn't good. How the heck did I get myself into this mess? Yeah, certainly does not look good. You don't want Joan Conway against you. Everyone knows Joan. Her father is none other than Richard Conway. He owns 80% of this town. Everything from real estate to small business, banks, you name it. And Joan is not just his daughter, but also helps run her father's business. If I'm not mistaken, weren't your parents working at one of their factories, Conway Manufacturing, wasn't it? Yeah, my brother works there too. I see. I warned you about this, Amy. Please, Emma, you got to help me. If I don't do something, we'll all get fired and end up homeless. There must be something we can do. Uh, Amy, I'm going to have to stop you right there. Why ask me for help? What have I got to do with any of this? I tried to stop you. Huh? But you're my friend and... Hold it a sec. Before you say anything more, on the day of your wedding, you meet an old crush who turns out to be my ex that I haven't seen in three years. The next day you're set to leave on your honeymoon, you ditch that, then you shack up in a hotel with the guy. What's more, you knew that he was my ex-husband, but you ignored all of that and went on your merry way. All that, and you still want me to help you? Seriously? Who would help such a person? Yeah, but it was all just a big mistake. I had no idea he was married and that he was married too. You know. Are you serious, Amy? Really? Sure, you didn't know he was married, but your actions before the back was despicable, to say the least. What I really wanted to do was cut ties with you completely. Being friends? No, I don't think so. Come on, Emma, please, don't be like that. It was an innocent mistake. I had no idea he was married. Hey, Emma, 
Emma, are you there? You didn't move out, did you? You received the wedding invitation, no problem, so I figured you still lived here. We moved to an apartment downtown, I figured you were still here. Yeah, well, it's only been about two months since I moved here. It was after I received the wedding invitation. Huh? Why'd you move out? My brother got married and invited my folks to live with them, so they sold the house. As for me, I moved out about two months ago because I got transferred to another branch. You got transferred? Why didn't you tell me? I was going to tell everyone after the wedding at the reception. I had the new address at all. Figured everyone would be there. We all know what happened after that. You put an end to that. The reception was canceled, and I ended up not getting a chance to tell anyone. Now whose fault is that? Well, you could have just told me later. Sent me a text message or something. To tell you the truth, I was really dismayed by your behavior. I didn't want to tell you. I'm sorry. Huh? But... And so why ask about me moving now? Uh, yeah. Our whole family lost their jobs, and we all had to move to the country. To my grandparents' place. Well, I mean, except for me. I was told I was no longer welcome. That I was not a part of the family anymore. I had nowhere to go. No one to turn to. So I thought you would put me up for a while? What do you say? You're not serious. I thought I told you we were no longer friends. You do remember that, don't you? Yeah, but I thought you were just kidding around. Well, I wasn't kidding. Not one bit. I was even going to block this line connection. I figured you'd try to contact me. Please, you're not serious. Please don't do that, Emma. I had to go into debt to pay off the wedding fee, the canceled honeymoon, compensation to Terry. I'm really in deep shit. Please, you can't abandon me. Emma, we've been friends since kindergarten. I'm trying to pay off the debt, but I can't find a job. I'm sure Miss Conway is behind it, no doubt. Nobody will hire me. I'm back against the wall here. I need an old friend to support me. Please, Emma. Uh, like I keep asking, why me? You blew the whole thing up because you wanted Brad so badly. Work it out with him, would you? I have nothing to do with any of this. I can't contact Brad. He's nowhere to be found. I keep calling him, but he won't answer. And I can't very well barge into the Conway residence now, can I? I heard he paid the Conways off and got a divorce and just disappeared. Yeah, not my problem. You're the only person I can rely on. Uh, no. That's where you're wrong, Amy. I'm the worst person you want help from. Huh? Although it was a mistake, you did attempt to steal my husband from me. If I was married, you probably would have done it anyway, am I right? I had divorced him years ago, but still, I never thought my childhood friend would do such a thing to me. Do you really think I would help such a person? Please, Emma, don't be like that. Forgive me. Nothing happened. You guys were divorced. You can't hold that against me forever. So, come on. Let bygones be bygones. What do you say? I give up. No matter what I say, you'll just twist it around to suit you. This is getting really tiring. Huh? Come on! I suppose it's the perfect time to block you for good. Please, Emma, don't! Goodbye, Amy. Have a good life. I later learned that her whole family cut ties with her, along with the rest of her relatives. They wanted nothing to do with her. I cut ties with her too, but she still wanted help. She just never learns. My brother told me that behind my back, Amy always complained that I was such a bore and no fun. He said it was a good opportunity to just cut all ties with her. Nothing good would come of continuing the relationship. As for Amy, she was completely shunned from the community thanks to the pressure exerted by Miss Conway, who, as we all know, practically runs the entire town. Eventually, she had no choice but to leave town and find work elsewhere. I heard from Terry, Amy's short-lived husband, he told me that she sent him all these long-winded sob stories constantly, but got tired of reading her drivel. He eventually blocked her. Apparently, she complained of the hardships she had to endure, working late at various clubs, catering to rich old men. He said he got rid of his old smartphone and finally rid himself of Amy forever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.